So when when uh, we talk about where Australia is in terms of science education and, and benchmark against the rest of the world, um, we we are slipping um, in terms of international testing and so on. But but perhaps more directly, um, a, a significant number of other countries have taken very active positions on on increasing science education, increasing investment in science teachers. Uh, both in terms of the number and their professional development. And I think this is uh, um, where we have to catch up. I don't think we can sit back and presume it'll all be OK. Um, as we see science as an important part of the future, that we prepare future scientists and, and the future community in the right way. And that'll be through the education systems. I mean, the teaching profession has the future of this country in its hands. And uh, we need to give them all the support we can muster to ensure that they're doing the job that we need them to do for the future of our country. And we need to focus on it as a community. We have uh, very few trained science teachers in primary schools, uh, teachers teaching out of field, in, particularly in junior secondary schools. So, you know, if you think about what science was like when you graduated and you're trying to teach contemporary science 20 years later, it's a big ask if you haven't had really good professional development, regular, consistent um, and uh, confidence-inspiring in you so you can go and inspire confidence in your students and uh, I think we've got to have a look at it root and branch really. Do we ask enough? Do we support enough? Do we demand enough? Do we expect enough to enable us to have a community with broad scientific literacy and some real gems of scientists embedded within it? You think about really young children around the age of three, um, I think that uh, what we really need to do is just to show them the natural world around them to start with. Um, you know, I, I went to a country school first, um, and so my early years, and uh, it was a single teacher school. And uh, when he was setting the tasks for the other classes, he'd send us outside often, but not just to mess around, he'd tell us to go and look at how the butterflies fly, how the bees work, how the flowers blossom, follow the ants' trails or, you know, look for the cocoons or the cicadas or whatever it might have been and, and just wonder and wonder about them, think about them, um, go back in and tell him what we'd seen and we asked him why is it like that and so I think from, you know, the age of uh, four uh, basically I was encouraged to be curious by the first teacher I ever had. Science ought to be taught as it's practised because when you see it in practice it's awesome. When you learn it out of a textbook, it might look a bit dreary. So let's teach it in a way that encourages students to see that it's awesome and then make decisions about what they want to do. Our democracy will prosper when there is a higher level of science literacy in the community because people are going to have to make judgment calls about what we do with, the, with what we could do um, that comes out of the science that we do do. So, so science will give us options and opportunities the citizens will choose which of them they want to take up. The higher the level of literacy, the better the decisions will be. And I just would encourage anybody whose inclination is, is um, to go into science just to remember that when you do it, and you do it well and you do it relentlessly, you get a lot of, lot of highs out of that.